well even though it was four four and four um i mean the the score line was was pretty straight the match was not too long but still we we saw something incredible and um it was a special match um in in all departments uh, first of all daniel he played from the first to the last point incredibly well um no mistakes um served amazing and you have to do this against against in order to beat him so that was amazing and on the other hand um i think everybody could could see what no novak was going through um what he was playing for uh, for history for something for a for a chance of the century maybe even and um i think he felt very nervous and a lot of pressure i think we could also see it um towards the end of the match and um it was it was great to witness and um yeah heads off to to both players and um well on, on the same it was super nice to witness it but at the same time i was a little bit sad somehow to not be part of such a special tournament um because not only the finals but also before um as i said i i watched almost all the matches and i saw some great matches um the, the atmosphere was amazing again so i was pretty sentimental yesterday and sad that i that i couldn't play there this year but at the same time also very pumped and motivated to be back next year yeah it's emotions anymore yeah he was under under pressure what um nobody of us can can feel or anything because um of of the of the calendar slam no but i i can feel it in a in a smaller way probably um from from last year's final or from some other matches and at some points it's just getting to you and so i really um felt for him as well towards the end of the match um but game wise you could see already i think um in the beginning of the third set that it's, it's pretty much going in in one direction and um yeah i think we would all have loved to see a, a little bit longer match but um as i said i mean heads off to daniel he didn't let that happen and uh, that's that sports um there are always two parties fighting for one title and he was too strong yesterday mm-hmm. chokovic yeah i mean one one unbelievable goal slipped out of his hands yesterday but he still has this uh, for sure this goal inside to to win a 21st slam to be the leader alone in this department so i expect him to be as strong as ever in 2022 and um this relief i mean i think after he won in roland garros everybody was only talking about the calendar slam first about the golden slam and then about the calendar slam so it can happen that it also makes him even stronger next year when all these talks and all this pressure is not that big anymore of course and um for me there are there are three goats in the game and um each of them has achieved something very unique so um it's still the same for me as it was uh, before um, the the three of them are are the best in the history to me and i'm only super happy to to be in the same era with them and to be to able to to compete with them hopefully many more times uh, ne- uh, next year again mm-hmm. yeah for me it's one of the one of the greatest achievements um ever no in in the in the women's sports it's uh, it's an incredible journey if you look at the stats uh, she didn't lose one set the whole tournament uh, she came from qualifying and she didn't even play one tie break no that's that's simply amazing and uh, something what probably we've never witnessed before and uh, also the way she plays uh, her technique the way she moves uh, somehow she brought it up to a new level no the the whole game somehow and it was great to see but as well her opponent it was so fun to to watch her and uh, she had such a tough path to to the final a uh, bit osaka keaba um svitolina sabarenka and then everything in three sets so many tie breaks and uh, the final as well it was it was fun to watch i was excited for it um 
watching every single point on on TV and it was great not only for women's tennis but for our sports in, in general yeah it easily can be I mean there were some some other great achievements as well in the past but um, now with with Emma Raducanu at the US Open probably nobody would have expected it um, starting the qualities and then playing such great tennis and make this incredible path um, it's definitely maybe the greatest breakthrough performance of all time mm-hmm